you doing, guys? Road Break Episode 4. And we have our film review. One of the first ones that we will do. Uh, it's about fighting with my family about Paige the Wrestler. Biopic of Paige is the Wrestler. Uh, we, we saw the movie uh, last week. And we have some views uh, about the film itself. Uh, Ryan's on the star. The film was excellent. I enjoyed it. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 91%. Um, I thought it was a very good uh, film itself. Um, I'm sure some of it was dramatized somewhat. Um, but as a film, the whole thing was very well done, I thought. And uh, had a lot of good comedic moments. And I highly recommend it. Yep, uh, to me, it's a great film, very entertaining, and for people who are not into wrestling, this kind of uh, biopics uh, help you understand what the life of a wrestler is. For us, we just know it because it's been in our bloods, the passion or the bug for wrestling has been in our bloods our whole lives, but for people who are not aware of what, like, the process of becoming a wrestler and the process of also to go into the WWE and uh, the development that you need to go from being just a wrestler to a character uh, how to cut a promo uh, how to learn your moveset uh, learn how to work with your partner all of that takes years and to be able to see that through Paige's life it was really cool it was really cool I highly recommend it I feel that like it did a lot of justice to what Paige's like character and story is. We're just gonna talk about the positive here. We will not mention any of the negative stuff because we know we're nobody to judge. But I feel that like it was really interesting. It was. Um, I really enjoyed the cast. Um, there were a lot of I feel unknown people that they picked to star in the movie. Um, I shouldn't say you no. Know, they, they had a lot of people in it that you did know, like a Vince Vaughn. Uh, I really enjoy Vince Vaughn as an actor. He was excellent in this. Um, they had The Rock have certain cameos in it, and he did his part, did very well in it. But like I said before, they had a lot of unknown people like Paige's father and mother, the brother, um, you know, like family members like that, and other characters in it that were unknown actors that played their parts ex just extremely well um, and were very comedic, very uh, emotional at times. Um, and it showed uh, Paige's journey and to me did her justice. And for me, I really just, it was, uh, to me, it, just a wild ride throughout the entire movie. I think that Florence Pugh, the actress that plays Paige, she did a wonderful job uh, at just doing justice of what Paige is as a character. I think overall the story tells you that the main line about the movie is just you gotta worry about being you. And that's very important in life because you can tell her struggles throughout the movie of fitting in, things that like are very relatable for every single one of us in society because I feel that like at some point in our lives we always wonder where's my spot or where do I belong or how do I need to behave to actually be part of something. And I feel that it's very important how she at the end well, we know what the end is because professional wrestling fans know what is it about. But at the end, she's able to discover herself. And she understands who she is and where, where where's her place in life. So I feel that's one of the main teachings about the movie. Also, uh, the unity of a family. Because throughout the whole movie, you see that how she is just doing this a lot for her family and she gets all the support by them things happen along the way but it is very interesting to see that if you have a dream you have to fight really hard for it and if you believe in it then things will happen and you will accomplish that dream because it happened for Paige and it can happen for any one of us big time i, I like the family aspect part of the movie you know, I did not know that she came from a family who 
had a lot of, I want to say, issues. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for people who are actually going to see the movie, but um, she came from a family who was very loving, but also had a lot of issues going on in the background. Um, you know, so she did end up doing this for her family, financially somewhat. So, you know, in the end, she accomplished her dream, but was also doing it, I think, for her family as well, to help them out. Um, and it is a really inspirational story um, to watch. Yeah, man, it's very interesting. And like you said, Vince Vaughn did a great job with his character. He brought it uh, a lot of uh, funny moments in the movie. And also, like, he brought the aspect that coaches are hard, that the, the performer center is where the developmental is. Is not is no joke. Mm -hmm. Is like any other profession in life. You will only be able to make it if you want it enough and if you have it enough. And like I said, we won't spoil anything. But I feel that like the whole message of the story is, you know, you don't need to worry about being somebody else's. Just the whole main point of it is just find who you are as a person and accepting yourself and being able to make the best out of who you are uh, another uh, character for some of the wrestling fans out there Selena Vega plays AJ Lee yep. and that there were some inaccurate aspects you will say a little bit of a they added a little bit of drama of it but it's needed because it's just a movie it's not a documentary so it, need, it doesn't have to be uh, factual. No. It's based on the life of Paige. Yes. So, for that reason, I feel that, like, it's a great movie. Is and I don't think it's worthy of an Oscar. No. But, no. I mean, if no. you're going to have a good time on the weekend, going with your family, share a good message, you know, you should go and see it. And for the professional wrestling fans out there, it's nice to see how the journey of a girl that, like, from England, that loved the WWE, learned it from... Her brother. And, and her father. Her father, big wrestling. A whole man. wrestling family they they were made fun of. Because it happens even sometimes to us. Big time. Because we we love wrestling and right now it's not as popular as it used to be. So it's like, oh you like that thing or you like the fake thing. Sometimes they think of us as, as lower people just because we have this bug in our in our heads that we love. But in a way, it's just so nice to see how she was able to overcome those things and then just become champion and, you know, be the diva or, or the superstar that she is right now. I agree. You know, it was, it was, for me, it's a big deal because it's a great aspect of the wrestling industry. You know, it, she was a big member of the, if you want to say revolution, um, because that's where it kind of kick-started, um, I'll say with AJ Lee and her. Um, and for any wrestling fan, I will recommend the movie highly. Um, for those who aren't wrestling fans, I think they'll still enjoy it. As Juan said before, it really opens your eyes to how um, hard it is for people to actually get into the industry and how hard it is to really be a wrestler. Yeah, like, like, like you said, it's, it's an eye-opener. It's an eye-opener, and like to give you some a little bit of a background, like Ryan said, AJ Lee and Paige were the ones that like actually were the pioneers in the Re Divas Revolution. They started as, they went from like being divas to superstars, having two, three minute matches to actually be taken as something serious. And Paige, what makes her attractive also is the fact that she's different. She does not fit the mold that at that time WWE wanted, which was the blonde, the model, the cheerleader, no wrestling skill whatsoever. They just wanted to portray beautiful women hitting each other. But Paige come in, comes in along AJ Lee, and they show that like women can also wrestle. That's the big issue, and always has been with WWE is. You know, they flaunt sexuality instead of just pure athleticism. You know, they didn't care about wrestling. It was just the body and, you know, they don't want to state it, but sex. 
you know, it's about your beauty. Tits and ass. It is. It's tits it's, and ass. It's about that. And they, they didn't want to say that because this is the new revolution. But really, it wasn't starting that way. But finally, with these two, I feel like it really did start. You know, AJ Lee was the one who kickstarted it. And then Paige came in too and was one of those girls who really did start it as well. And that's how it really did get started. And you have now women this year who are going to main event WrestleMania. Thanks to the work that AJ Lee and Paige started, we have 2019. This movie coming out, the main event of WrestleMania will be Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Ronda Rousey. So it's a, it's a whole process. It's been a few years, but now women are taken seriously. And it's very ironic and funny at the same time that the main storyline on WWE right now is involving three women. So it does if you are if you're if you're a fan or not, you will find that very interesting to see that dynamic that right now the men are not able to pull out engaging stories. Nobody really is into the product as much unless you actually care for the women. Because the women are putting much better performances and also they're bringing more entertainment or engagement from the audience they are and that's thanks to Paige and AJ Lee and these two women are featuring the movie The Rock does a few cameos like Ryan said which is interesting and the fact that like he was able to take this story and made it into a movie is nice like I said for people who love wrestling and for people who don't know wrestling because the ones that don't know they will get a, a, a an idea of what it is yes. or how to become a wrestling fan any closing thoughts Ryan? for me I just say give it a chance if you're not a wrestling fan and if you are a wrestling fan definitely watch it once again, if you have any suggestions, comments, please let us know. Let us know. Subscribe to the channel. You can watch video one, two, and three of it. And we'll be back with more. Okay? Ada! Ada!